Yeah, just a, a really fun game. Um, the energy brought by Pooter School District was outstanding. And uh, while you forget the energy that the youth have, I mean, those teachers are saints, my Lord. Um, but what a fun, fun day for everybody. I'm, I'm pleased with how our kids responded and played after a, a tough little stretch that, that we've had. So this was a great game to, um, to play well. Do you get the feeling this is the favorite game of the year for your team? I mean, it, Thompson School District, Pooter School District, that's a thousand screaming kids from an hour before tip till the end. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, not often do we get to play games where there's that type of energy. Um, and so, yeah, it's arguably the, the funnest game for our kids, without a doubt. And you could tell in warm ups and, um, you know, the kids were here early today. Uh, and that's what a crowd can do. Let's, let's be honest. You, you get people in those stands, whether they're fifth graders, fourth graders, or whatever. I mean, it does help a team. And I thought those young kids helped us out today. But your team did come out today with a purpose. And like you talked about, you're on a three-game slide. And you played probably one of your better defensive games than you had in a while. Is, is that really where the key was for you? Yeah. Um, I really liked how we defended. And we had some really good stretches. And I thought Utah State came out really aggressive. They, they've got some, some things that can be tough to handle. And I, I thought our, real, our kids really competed well. Um, we made them miss a lot tonight. And we rebounded the ball well. And this was just the type of defensive effort that, that we needed. Um, but I'm, I'm, the offense is what's been really kind of bogging us down. And so for some of our kids that maybe haven't seen the ball go through the basket here the last two or three games at the clip that they're probably used to, um, you saw them get some confidence back. A Sydney Mech, uh, a Destiny Thurman. I thought Megan was really good tonight. So um, big game in a lot of ways. Speaking on uh, the shooting clip, just 28% from both of your road games. And then coming back, you guys shot over 50. Um, what do you think the biggest factor is there? Is it, you know, you talked a little bit about confidence. Is it the hostile crowd versus, you know, the home crowd? Um, what do you kind of attribute that to? Well, maybe a little bit of everything, to, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the, the road can be tough. And those are two pretty darn good teams that defensively that that shut us down from the three-point line. Um, but I thought the ball had energy tonight. We moved the ball a whole lot better. Uh, we were maybe a little stale the, the last couple of games. Um, so I, I just attribute it to our kids played really well together. I thought we made the extra pass uh, pretty good tonight. Um, so I was going to ask, what did you like better, the motion of your players on the floor or the motion of the ball? The ball. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing can get stuck sometimes. And I, I thought we were, um, when we move it, obviously your body's going to move. And so, um, and that, that just, we, we started Kendall tonight to, to spread the floor a little bit. We thought we'd be able to get downhill, which we did early. We got to the foul line early in the first quarter. And that was just the space that's the created. And if you can move the basketball and get people in closeouts, um, that can be effective for us. How hard was it you, though, when you wanted to communicate with your team? Yeah, couldn't. <laughs> I mean, we, we were, were writing things on the, the, the board during timeouts, you know, the actions, because they couldn't hear me. And um, we, we had to keep it really simple tonight on free throw situations where maybe you can communicate with your kids and maybe call an action or kind of what you want offensively. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, you couldn't do that. So we, we kept our plan really, really simple. We played through a few simple concepts tonight just because we knew uh, the communication wasn't going to be there. A crowd like that, again, they can take a coach out of it, right? And, and so uh, the, our home crowd took me out of it. <laughs> How much does having a guard like McKenna, who's so gifted um, with her playmaking, help in situations like this? Yeah, I mean, um, it's extremely helpful. And, you know, she, uh, she, she, this was the first time she played live since the Air Force game. She's kind of been banged up, and um, so we, we sat her, and she came out with really good focus tonight. And she just makes everybody around her better. 
And the area where we've got to get better is when she's not on the floor, the game can't go sideways. And there's times it does do that. And that's where our team has to get better is, um, you know, you want that scoreboard to, to keep climbing when she takes a break. And that's where we still have to improve. When you start Kendra tonight, was her biggest, you like points out of her. Obviously, you'd like some more points out of the post. She'll get most of them from the outside. But does she help your offense even if she's not a high scorer because of the spacing she Absolutely. Just her skill set creates the space. You know, they're going to they're gonna dedicate to her. Um, and uh, they're going to close out hard on her. And so, yeah, she just can space the floor with what she can bring to a, to a lineup. And that was the whole reason behind starting her. And plus, she played really well at Air Force. I mean, she had 10 points in 19 minutes. And... Um, those were our most productive offensive minutes. So we've got to play that. And not that those other kids are, you know, not playing well. We need to score it better. And our starts have been atrocious, to be honest with you. So the whole plan behind that was, um, yeah, maybe Kendall gets involved with that, but everybody's going to get involved. It's going to create some space and hopefully some drives to the basket. To that point of your starts have been atrocious tonight, you guys came out, you started the first quarter really well, and then you came out of the break and started that really well. Um, do you kind of attribute that to Kendall being in the starting lineup, or what do you kind of attribute that to? Kendall? Well, I just, I, I think our mentality, right, I, I attribute it to that. Uh, I thought we, there was great conviction tonight, um, you know, and, and yeah, you can probably attribute it, some of that to, to Kendall for sure, um, just what, Again, like I said, the space she can she can bring. Okay, thank Thanks you, everybody. Right.